everybody. Uh, this is the EK Quantum uh, monoblock for the Z490 Extreme. I just got this in today. Uh, this was sent to me by EK for a project build that in Win H frame that I'm working on. So this is the first magnitude monoblock. Uh, some of you may not be familiar. They released a line of magnitude blocks. Uh, CPU blocks last year and technically there are 3080 and 3090 FE blocks are part of a magnitude line as well technically um, at least I think that's what they're trying to say uh, you can kind of tell by the price bracket it's like 300 bucks for a GPU block versus the regular 100 something right this block goes for about 350 I think maybe a little lower now um, it's a hefty package so let's just take a look at what's inside Okay, so I'm opening this live. Well, not live, but you get the idea. I've never seen it before in person. So let's see. It's a very hefty box. I'm shocked. It's gotta be at least like four or five pounds. All right, let's see what you get in here. Standard EK Fair with the box. Box struggles. All right, right off the bat. You can tell you get the back plate and the rubber. So this is most likely a two-piece, very small two-piece. This is the, pretty much the same thing you get with the Supremacies, uh, the Evos, etc. Get some thermal pads, look to be about one millimeter. And screws and junk and a jet plate. So let's look at the block. All right, UK screwdriver, metal one. Yep. Nice touch. Strange. Looks like it has the interchangeable heads, but it's a nice touch. The bottom also looks like something belongs there. All right, let's take. Ooh, that's some fancy mess stuff here. All right. <clears throat> uh, okay, these are for the tool socket heads. Uh, you get a thermal grizzly, and you get that EK one use tool. And there's the block itself. Alrighty, pretty much plexi. Uh, nice machined metal on top. This is anodized aluminum from what I can tell. Okay. Oh, this is the heavy piece. Wow, that is freaking heavy. That is heavy. That is heavy. Okay. This is for the VRMs. This is heavy, jeez. How much does this weigh? Okay, what did you get? Okay, fittings, obviously to connect this and this, you can tell right away, right? Just like that, okay. You know what, let me get a scale. I wanna weigh how much this weighs, hang on. So I'm back with the scale. It's time to uh, find out how much this stuff weighs. Uh, start with the VRM portion. We're looking at 1,025 grams. Now let's tack on the uh, CPU block portion, 1789 grams. So that should, for us US folks, 63 ounces, which is about 3.15 pounds. Pretty hefty. Now, looking at this uh, block here, if you look inside, I don't know how well it's gonna show up on the camera, but if you, it's pretty much the magnitude uh, jet plate for Intel. So uh, comparing to what you normally would get from an EK monoblock, I have to say this is definitely stepped up quite a bit. Uh, I've, I've owned a lot of EK monoblocks and they usually it's just like this one chunk, right? And it doesn't have the metal in the front, it's all plexi or all acetyl, however you bought it. But this is, you know, very nicely cut uh, metal over here. You get anodized metal over here. It's just, just anodized? Yeah, it's anodized. It's just extremely, extremely nice. Um, this is nickel plated copper. Yeah, uh, it's just, wow. That is, it's impressive. Jeez, that is hefty. Good Lord. I'm gonna break my motherboard. Anyway, but yeah, this is, uh, wow. That's all I can say is wow. <laughs> um, it's shocking, you know, it's really shocking. EK has definitely stepped up. Not because, I'm not saying all this because they sent it to me. I'm just saying like, in general, 
This is the kind of stuff you want. See, when you spend $300, $400 on a piece of water cooling equipment, this is what you want to get. Not, not some loaded up plexi with some RGB lights. Like you want something of substance. And this is, you know, this is a good piece of metal right here. You know, um, good machining on it. Just good Lord. All right, so anyways, you can hear that, right? I'm gonna get it on the board and I'll come back. Um, I don't know how involved the install process is. There's no instructions. No, it's probably online. I'll figure it out. So I'll come back when I get it on the board. Maybe I'll do the process. We'll see. All right, guys, just a quick progress update. Uh, you will have to remove the IL cover on the board. Uh, you will have to remove the thermal shield on the back. Uh, all of this is on the instructions. It does. You do have instructions online. So the M2 stuff comes off first. Then the uh, back thermal shield comes off completely. Then the uh, IO comes out. IO shield cover it comes out. Um, the bracket, like I said, goes on the back. Make sure you have the CPU in while you're doing this, right? You don't want to put everything together and realize the CPU is not in socket. That'd be extremely stupid. Um, you will have to use the reuse the standoffs from the original heatsink. So don't just toss this away yet in the box. So pretty much got a lot of screws here. I think I'm about 50%. So I'll come back when I'm closer to finish. Keep in mind when you take the armor, these screws are not all the same. I thought they were identical, but they're not. So give a general idea of where they came from. Um, outside of that, pretty much uh, the only part left is the main block itself. Uh, this will pretty much just go on like that. And that's pretty much it. Overall install is not too bad. Um, if you're comfortable with taking off parts, then it's nothing new. So I'll come back when it's on. All right. Overall, uh, when you install the bridge portion, make sure, you know, if, if you don't have like tube grease, for water cooling, I'm not talking about like any type of grease, but I specifically grease that won't deteriorate rubber O-rings, then just use some water, because this is not easy to come down. I assume it's the same for the Maximus bridge blocks they make. Um, other than that, yeah, extremely high quality block. Not much I can say. Uh, I will show some B-roll at the end of this, so you can get a better idea how this looks lit up, lit up and everything. But, um, yeah, extremely impressive. Um, very premium. Uh, I, I assume performance would be similar, you know, than a dedicated CPU block. Uh, the magnitude line CPU performance is top of the charts, but it's not topping by much, right? One degree, two degrees. So, yeah, gorgeous block. Looking forward to seeing it in action. That's it. Take care. And thanks for watching.